Mr. Internet. For those fluent in the language of the internet, our next guest will be very familiar, but for those who may not know him... My name is Whitey Cracker, YT Cracker, and I am an infamous computer hacker. Webmaster, DJ, MC, MC, spammer, digital gangster, and I love Mr. Internet. You seem like you're a veteran of, of some pretty hardcore nerd warfare, like, you know, hacking onto NASA's Goddard Space Center site, hacking the FAA, like a lot of the other things that you become known for. My experience with hacking is just watching Matthew Broderick in war games and then, you know, the government panel van pulls up. Like, what, what happened to you when you did all these things? And they were obviously some pretty shocking right. stuff. Basically, you can see my case files. I don't, I don't know if they're over there. Stacks of paper that thick over there. I had like seven or eight different agencies investigating me at once. This is the discovery right here. <laughs> it looks like a Leo Tolstoy novel. It's thick. It is. It reads like one too. It's that boring. <laughs> so this is my like warrant, like right there. NASA, um, they have this thing called Office of the Inspector General, and they sent them over to my house to like conduct the investigation. They had to tell all the rest of the agencies to like back off. Yeah, when the agencies that are investigating you are so numerous that they have to coordinate with one another. It seems like you may have done something pretty cool. It was, yeah, it was, it was bad. I guess you never ended up uh, fleeing to an island where a reclusive computer scientist was flying no. a remote control pterodactyl. The pass, the password was Joshua, though. That. <laughs> right. That's the secret. Um, let me ask you about uh, digitalgangster.com for for people that may not be familiar with even what a web board is. Um, DigitalGangster.com is, I launched the site in 2005. A lot of like hackers on there just kind of use my board as a way to make a name for themselves. So it started to gain traction. Like my homeboy Camo hacked into like LexisNexis and broke Paris Hilton's cell phone, at least the naked pictures of her. And then Basically the shorthand for me is DigitalGangster.com is a whole bunch of people that I definitely do not want to f with, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. Then B A start the screen goes white. Explain for our viewers like nerdcore, you know, like that's kind of an interesting intersection of, of you know two different worlds. Um, I'd say that nerdcore is basically just just nerdy hip hop, um, <laughs> kind of in the vein like rhymes about nerdy stuff like Star Wars and computers and the internet and <laughs> not getting laid and <laughs> I don't know. The stereotype of a nerd is kind of an introverted dude, but you, you obviously got to be pretty brave socially to get up on stage and, and lay down what you lay down in front of oh, people. absolutely. You know? That's the whole thing is, I mean, if you listen to, to gangster rap, hip hop or whatever, they'll speak in, in about drugs and stuff in like this code, you know, like no one knew what a bird was or, you know, even like <laughs> Superman and a hoe right, or anything like right. that. Like, no one knows what that is until like it starts to proliferate in like the regular vernacular. So the same thing goes on with the computer sh there's a lot of in-jokes and stuff that I'm saying, speaking to my people, but more or less I want people that aren't nerds to kind of like appreciate like the nerd game more and stuff. Like, oh, that, that kid's like kind of cool because he plays Magic the Gathering. I probably shouldn't go beat his ass. Because <laughs> that was me. I'm talking to my 12-year-old self. Like, chill. Can't get enough of Whitey Cracker's jams and they can't get enough of Whitey Cracker's spam. Were you on the forefront of this whole, this whole sort of fusion and, and where is it at now? Is it getting bigger? Oh yeah, um, I'm doing a show in Amsterdam next week, and that's insane. Like I said, it's gone global. Like it's it's that huge, but it's cool. Like I used to just fake like I was a rapper, and now I'm a real rapper. So I mean, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it started yeah. off ironic, and then next thing you know, it's real. There's a career potential out of it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Well, listen, uh, YT, it's been a pleasure. And we'd love to keep a relationship with you. If you ever got something you want to talk to us about or, or you got anything you want to break, we, we're all ears. So, Sounds uh, good. And if you ever need any favors pulled, you can always holler at me. You know, right, some ex-girlfriend, right. you know, some stupid boss, anything like that, you let me know and uh, we'll make their <laughs> life a living hell. Hey, man, if you guys could hack the Plum TV website and just, you know, move us up in the, in the visual hierarchy there, that would be nice. Trash you know? it like that? I could take a look at it and see what's up. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I'm really happy the show has a relationship with this guy, man. All right, Whitey. Take care. Good, good stuff, man. Mr. Ernest, stay up. You guys, you guys have going.